Hey guys, you may or may not know that I just launched Mac Square's first online product called Learn Mac Basics. Mac Basics provides basic Mac tutorials, so if you just got a Mac and you're just getting started, these are perfect for you, or maybe a friend or family member. So be sure to check it out at learnmacbasics.com. It's only $5 a month and you can get started with one free month to see how you like it. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you a cool little technique I figured out uh, with the Adobe Illustrator splash screen. So if you don't know what that means, basically the splash screen is when you open up Illustrator and then this little window pops up like this. And this kind of annoys me because they change it like every month and I just wanted something to stay consistent and something that kind of looked cool because uh, I really don't like that design. So I decided to go make my own and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. Let's get started. So I went ahead and created a mock-up in Photoshop of what it will look like. And this is the thing I came up with. Um, it's just got the Illustrator CC with a nice long shadow on it. And I'm going to be putting this template and the actions I use for um, Photoshop in a download below, uh, below this video in the description. So you can definitely check that out and follow along. So basically, once you get the design that you want, you can just open up the action that I created and hit export, then just run it, and it'll export all the different images you need to replace the current splash screen image. Once you do that, you'll see that it's exported to your desktop. Now you may need to configure the action to change uh, where you want it to export. So if you don't want it to export by default to your desktop, you can have that go to your documents or your photos Wherever you want that, just make sure you do change the action before you do that. So once you've created and exported your image, you select all of these and copy them. Then go into your applications, select Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 should be at the top. Right click and say show package contents. Then go to contents, resources, and paste those in. Then select apply all and replace. I'm going to close Photoshop in the background here and open Illustrator one more time, and you'll see that the new image has been added. Now, I haven't figured out a way to get rid of this text, so I kind of just added it in like they had it with this nice black box in the background, um, and I haven't figured out a way to change the color, but if I do, I will put an update on so you can follow along. Now, the only downside about this is that this only works for Illustrator. I haven't figured out a way to get this to work on Photoshop or InDesign or any other app in CC, quite frankly. Um, but if I do figure it out, I'll definitely put up another video or maybe just a blog post on MacSQ.com. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.